So what we need to do now is go back into our action script. Wherever we, wherever we are referencing the tile list, we need to update it. So we're just going to kind of roll through here. And, uh, you know, for areas like right here, what we need to do is say tile list holder dot tile list, basically sending it through the path of the movie clips. OK, so I'm going to highlight this again and copy that with the uh, dot in there and just sort of update all of these. All right. So we can make sense of it. All right. I'm also going to come down here. All right. We need to update this. We need to update this stuff. All right, need to update this as well. And I think for right now, that is good. Let's make sure we don't have anything in here. We shouldn't, yeah. All right, so let's just go ahead and make sure that we made that connection. I'm gonna publish this, all right? No, uh, nothing bad, no errors, all right? Okay, so the next thing I'd like to do is just double click inside of this movie clip and since we have this set up at a 200 width, our tile list is 200 width. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off the stage. I'm going to add a few layers. I'm just going to go ahead and rename this tile list component. We'll call this uh, graphic cover. And we'll call this um, actions. Add another layer. We'll call this uh, label or labels. And uh, I'll actually obviously have a plan for that in a little bit. We're going to uh, set this up just like that. So I'm going to grab this graphic color. I'm going to paste in place. Okay, I'm going to get my um, properties panel back in here. And I'm going to make this about 200. Okay, and what I'd like to do, let's see if we can see that outside of here. All right. Yeah, that definitely did something I don't want to do. I don't want to cover up the actual tile list with it. So I'm going to... Uh, Probably bring this back to about 185. Should leave enough room for the scroll bar. Looks like it. Yeah, definitely. Okay. We'll be able to see when we create the graphic too. We've got that set up. Um, I'm trying to think of how we should set this up. Let's see. All right. I'd come out to maybe... 45 frames, depending on what you use your frame rate at. I'm using uh, 30 frames per second at all times. Um, so it's basically, you know, 30 frames is one second, 60, whatever. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create some uh, frame labels in here. And I'm going to uh, insert a keyframe on frame two on the la labels layer. All right. Insert keyframe. I'm going to call this uh, over. Okay. I'm going to come out to about the 30th our 25th layer, or 25th frame, enter the keyframe. I'm going to call this uh, roll out. Kind of come into the actions here, and we need to bring our actions in. So go ahead and get your uh, actions in here. If you don't know where to find them, come up here to window, actions. All right. Oops. Let me uh, set this up a little bit different. I'm trying to... Uh, resize this so it's not huge okay I'm just gonna put a stop action in here okay just like that and we can go ahead and get rid of our actions and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna grab this right click on it copy frames come out to about here paste frames all right I'm gonna come out to I need to extend this a little bit more I'm gonna add I'll come out to 60 there's our frame probably come out to about here Paste frames again. Just pasting that stop action in there. And uh, let's see, what else do I need to put in here? Okay, let's go ahead and add a layer to the bottom here. And you're going to think this is a little crazy, but um, what we're going to do is we're going to take our graphic cover, all right? I'm going to copy this, and down here I'm going to insert a keyframe. Okay, I'm going to come out to underneath of this stop action. And let's see, create another keyframe, enter another keyframe. And I'm basically going to paste this in place here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my free transform tool and just kind of slide this out. Here, I'll show you what I'm doing. When we create this, we're going to set this up as somewhat of a button. When they grab onto this, like when they roll over the scroll bar, this is going to come in play. It's going to brighten up. You're going to be able to see the images like not, nothing's covering them. 
So when they click on this, some people tend not to stay on direct line, right? Like they may come out to here or something like that. By putting this in here, just like that, it allows for error if somebody, you know, stretches beyond this line here, all right? Because what you don't want is if you have your boundaries set from here, all right, it's going to keep, even while they're dragging, the graphic's still going to come in and play and, you know, you don't want the images going from dark to light to dark to light to dark to light, all right? And I'll show you a little bit more of what I'm talking about when we have this set up with some action script. But uh, that's basically what we're doing right there, all right? It's just a little room for error. So once you have that, extend it out past, you know, the normal area. Just come down here to the alpha. We're going to drop this down to uh, zero so nobody can see it. 